Good day, guys. Ping here. Um, today we are going to uh, model this roof. So only uh, only the shape of this roof. So not not the structure uh, inside. Um, so you can see from uh, from the top. So this is a footprint of this roof. So um, so this from the side. So you can see there's no ridge lines. That's all uh, curved. Okay. So let's do it. So first. Uh, let's create a project and we're going to use so first we're going to create a roof by footprint uh, so basically just create a shape of this one and on top of that roof we're going to use um, model in place mask we're going to create profiles and then using those profile to create a shape uh, create a mask and then apply a roof by face onto it so now let's start first i'm going to create a roof um, roof by footprint and i'll just roughly create a shape okay so um maybe something like 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 this and then uh, we're going to use affiliate arc and and i'm going to uh, finish it for now so and go go to 3d view so you can see this this roof is it's quite close to this but there's a uh, rich lines here you can see all here so what we uh, need to do is we need to create a more like uh, curved there's no rich lines so uh, we have to use um mass <laughs> okay so now um oh hell yeah uh, now we can't do it like a, a sphere and then try to cut because we need all these these uh the eve lines uh the same height so yeah so let's edit for print of this uh roof and then uncheck the defined slope so make it flat so and then we're going to create a model in place and use mass and okay so we're going to use a, a reference reference line and uh, spline through points and we're going, going to just pick a place onto the edge of this footprint okay so i'll start from here so one two three escape and one roughly in the middle two three escape and uh, here one roughly in the middle two three escape and for here i'm going to maybe just um, uh, maybe add, add one more so one two three roughly here one two uh, maybe here and then the end point uh, which is here one two three and midpoint one two uh, where's it? here three and then last end point midpoint and end point and escape so now we're going to create a surface using these um, the reason why we create it now is because once we adjust the midpoint sometimes it won't work it won't uh, uh, we won't be able to create a, a mass surface from from those these uh, reference plan sorry reference lines again so i'll show you <laughs> so first because we use a uh, draw on face so this point has been placed onto this surface and we can't really move it away from this surface so but what we need to do is here go to host and change it to not associated and then we can move it okay so now let me sh show you if i have this point move away from this surface and then try to create a oh hell yeah. it looks like we placed this one on the wrong side it should be on the top this one same but we will fix it later but for now i want to show you so if i create a form see so this is uh very um likely we 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 will get if we adjust the those reference lines of, uh, b before we create a surface so let me just al align surface point so move this back onto the surface and i uh, let's also uh, move this onto this so 
we use pick new host and onto this onto here select select this point pick new host onto this endpoint so now let's create a surface first okay so yeah so this is it and then we can pick the point change it to not associated and move them away so now you can see this surface it will follow all these reference lines so now we just need to select one two three four five go here not associated and then we can just go to uh, click on the side of this uh, cube so you can move use the keyboard so move them up so if you can zoom out to move faster or zoom in to just move move them slowly so you can use a keyboard uh, only or you can use shift with pick keyboard to move faster okay so i think i'll just move this down a little bit and then you just need to uh, spend some time to adjust the shape of this roof and once it's uh, it's, it's a bit hard uh, to see what it looks like because the default uh, material for massing massing is is a is a translucent material so which let me just finish mass i think it's under object style m mass so this material is a translucent material so that it's a little bit hard to see what um, it really uh, looks looks like so what you can do is you can make them you know not solid so maybe even give it a material a color right so i think that's better so um i think you just be careful when you use and when you when you do roof by uh, roof by face so try to avoid these this type of edge so very you know steep edge so trying to um let's edit in place try to just make it you know yeah something like that this because as um it might not work if if you have those edge so finish mass let's try to create a roof by face and pick this mass and create a roof and that's it so now you can see uh, so this is a roof following the the mass shape um, and just be aware sometimes uh, it, when if if it um, if the yeah so you can see here so it's uh, this is a bit not ideal but yeah it's because the this uh, slope of this mass in this this area is quite steep so this created this um issue so what you can do is you probably just uh, find use a thinner roof or you can adjust try to adjust this mass and then try to just uh, reduce the slope on uh, in the, this area okay so finish mass select this roof update yeah so you can see that it looks uh, slightly better oh so now we have we have um oh actually you probably don't want to delete this this is a roof by footprint because sometimes you might you might need to, to adjust this shape and because when you have this uh, currently the mass will f because we use a draw on face on the on the roof so when we change change the shape of this roof the mass will follow i believe <laughs> so let's try roughly adjust this and you will see see this mass it will follow the shape of the uh, roof by footprint so which which is good i think it's a good 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 idea to just keep it so in case you want you need to change the footprint of this uh, roof so what you can do is you can just create you can put it you can just change the face demolished to new construction so, so become a, a, a temporary roof right so when you show currently we show because we show all it it's uh, become a blue color uh, trans transparent um, element but if you show previous and new so it will be hidden okay 
So yeah, so now you can see this is the roof by face. We just need to update the face. Okay, so it will match the mass. So yeah, so this is it. So basically, you you, you can use the uh, roof by footprint here. So you can use the roof by footprint to control the shape of this mass and then the and then use this mass to control the uh, roof by face okay so clear very clear so let me change previous and new and also um yeah usually maybe you don't need to see the mass let's go to uh hang on. so this is 3d view uh, go VV and a uh, mass. Ah, oh, it's short because. Okay, so here, yeah. Okay, so this is it. Very simple, right? So um, and also uh, let me just turn on the mass again. So oh, maybe just show the prev uh, show the other roof again. So you can see some of this edge is not quite quite matching the previous the roof by footprint you can see it's not um, matte what you can do is you can um, add more so so for this one these are uh, these profiles are just minimum so one two three right so you can add more so again one two three four five and then you can add more so the more you um, the more profile you have, the the closer it will become to the the roof uh, roof by footprint. Okay, so and this is it. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions, please let me know. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.